happened tonight? I'll pass. I... Uh, what? I said, I'll pass. But... Mm -mm. Yeah, no, uh, I'm just gonna stop you right there, save you a little bit of time. See, I don't care. I, uh, don't care. <laughs> and I'm actually kind of hungry, so I'm going to excuse myself, and you can be on your way now. <laughs> God, I want a muffin right now. What am I going to do? Wait! Don't mind right. Come sit. Well, over the past few months, monsters have been appearing in my village at an exponentially increasing rate. Oh boy, I might finally get to go on a quest! At first it was bearable, but now the harvest is ruined, and if this doesn't get fixed soon, my entire village may... will cease to exist. Oh, come on! Who ate all the muffins? Uh, the culprit is a beast that lives in the Yornik dungeon, about 70 miles out from here. Please, great heroes, I'm desperate. <laughs> Big I'm a hero! I have money quite a bit. If you kill the beast, I'll give you 50,000 gold pieces and a rare item. Hmm. This could indeed be quite profitable. Where did she come from? After all, we haven't gotten many requests lately. You haven't? Shh, 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 don't tell him that! So, who are we killing? The rat. He's a... Yo! Who's been eating all the muffins? Ugh. She's still here? Uh... Where was I? Oh, a uh, 50,000 in the rare item. Wait, guys, you know what? I just totally random, but all of a sudden I have this hankering to go on a quest, you know? No way, that's perfect. This dude right here was just talking about one. What? No way, that's such a coincidence. Right? Well, now that I'm here, do you guys mind running over the logistics again? Like, I don't know, the rewards. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Uh, how many zeros was that again? Uh, four. Ah! Mm, mm. Mm. Um, <laughs> would you just excuse me for a moment real quick? As I was saying... <laughs> I'm gonna be rich! <laughs> mm. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys can continue discussing, by the way. I just... Well, aren't you a cutie? Come on, get those wretched creatures out of here. Nom, 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 nom. You know what, I, I think there was a mistake here. I'm going to head out. You guys can forget about the quest. Don't you dare. So how about those quest details? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Ruinators. My name is Lily, and if you're new, then welcome to my channel. And if not, Hi again. <laughs> um, before you click off this video though, I do want to let you guys know that there is a bonus scene of this first episode featured somewhere in the video, so if you stick with me while I'm talking about some stuff, you may get a chance of seeing that. So with that, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to talk about Ruinators and why it came to be, and I'm also going to do a breakdown so you get to see some behind the scenes footage and all that jazz. So basically, what the story behind Ruinators is I wanted a short roleplay where I could experiment with different techniques and whatnot and try to get better for the future when I want to pursue more roleplay based content on my channel. Like this basically includes like stuff I wanted to learn was dealing with large groups of people and like figuring out the camera shots and how that would work around them, like playing around with faces, which I my friend made a bunch of those faces. So thank you so much to her. Her name is Sophie. So yeah, she's on my channel page. Go check her out. Um, <laughs> I wanted to practice using different morphs, like basically using lighting to enhance shots, which I really think I did a good job of. There were so many shots in this episode particularly where I just thought the lighting was magnifique. I went to say magnificent, but then I said magnifique. But, but then that's, that's still not right. You know what? Oh, well, you know, we're just, we're just gonna move on. Um, I wanted to practice the rule of thirds as well. I don't know how well that went exactly. I, I need more practice with framing my shots. Uh, I wanted to obviously practice VAing because I do that a lot. Camera angles, sound effects, like, and basically relearn the mods in general because I haven't used them in a while and there have been a lot of new changes and additions. So I wanted to go back and be able to just learn. <laughs> so as you guys have probably noticed, this episode was very short and that is going to be consistent with all of the Ruinator series 
Ruminators series. Yeah, yeah, close enough. Yeah, it's gonna be consistent with this series as a whole. I want these to be kind of short little skit episodes. It's not gonna be following a main storyline, except the first three episodes will. This is like the quest arc, and then from there it's gonna kind of be like a slice of life, chill, here we go, I don't know. Um, but I'm really excited for the series because it's gonna give me opportunities to try crazy wacky things, and it has a very absurd sense of humor, so gonna be exciting. It's nowhere near perfect right now, I can definitely say that, but I am proud with how the first episode turned out, especially since it's my first time working with the mods again. So, yee! But, um, yeah, basically this series is fun to produce. Not necessarily easy, because I'm really slow with making stuff, but it's practice for the future, which I really love and I'm excited about. And on that note, let's get to the portion of the video where we break down the first episode of Ruinators. <laughs> okay. Wow, I just squealed. Okay. Um, let's get started. So this first clip shows all of the cats I had for the cat scene. And there was a lot. And yes, I body acted all of them. There were, I think, uh, 28 cats in total. Although I don't even think, I think I got so lazy, I didn't record the last one. I know, that's terrifying. And now I have some reshoots on the screen as well, where I ended up doing a lot of reshoots. The last reshoot that I thought I was doing ended up being the fourth to last. Very fun. I, okay, so now we're looking at the portion. I was working on the opening sequence, which actually includes one of my favorite shots, which is the opening shot of the array of people. Fun fact, it was also the very last thing I filmed. I went back on the server to film it. It's inspired by fairy tale, and I really liked how it turned out, so props there, I guess. Oh my gosh, the horse. I'm staring at the horse scene right now, and I have, if I've learned anything from this experience, it is that if I can avoid using horses, I will, because I used horses twice in the opening, and the first time I tried using a live horse, and it did not want to function or work with me, and that was okay, but I was not living for it, and then the second time I used it for this shot right here with, I almost called him Ryder, because he's riding a horse, no, but Ryan and Ryland, oh my gosh, the two Rys, it's gonna be a joke in the series at some point, I'll tell you that, but that horse scene was annoying too because they weren't mounting on the horses no matter what I did so I had to go back and reconfigure everything and then go again and it was, oh, it was terrible but uh, <laughs> here we have the dining room shot which was one of the easiest shots to film I just kind of went in got it done and that was that very simple very clean which also if you'll notice in these shots in the next shot it'll come up too you'll be able to see it but I left all of the other shots up and running in the background. So in the next shot, if you look back in the window, you'll be able to see like them having dinner and stuff because I filmed it right there. It is. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I filmed this after the dinner scene. So yeah, this is the battle one and it was not working out well. I did about like 70 takes and you can also see the people running on the side there. Yeah, um, and it just it wasn't going anywhere. So at this point I realized I needed Mari. So I added Mari into the scene and I was like, mm, I need something in there like a little extra pizzazz. And then I didn't like how it turned out. So then I went back and refilmed that again. Yep, I went back in reconfigured it. It's just like you had to memorize the pattern of the walking and then from there it was decent. Uh, okay, so oh the catastrophe. So Ruinators in the first episode, as you know, there was like a, a catastrophe where a bunch of cats got loose. Well, I had one of those of my own where I accidentally got mixing up, I mixed up the play buttons and I clicked the wrong one and a bunch of cats ran loose and I was like, ha, ah, and I couldn't fix it. And it took me a really long time to reconfigure everything. And it was a yikes. All right, so I am doing some reshoots there. And now while I talk about some other stuff, I'm gonna queue up some editing footage on the screen. Cause I don't know, in case you wanna see what it's like editing. I just, I wanna be very transparent with the series. Cause when I watched role plays as like a kid slash when I was younger, I always wondered how people did stuff and I felt that it wasn't really easy to find. So I'm gonna try my best to be transparent and everything throughout this series. Also, the way I have my Minecraft character up right now, it's actually inspired by Jerocraft, which is another YouTuber. He does it in a bunch of his building videos. And I wanted to do this because I don't have a face cam, but I wanna talk to you guys and have something on the screen that you can interact with as a symbolic version of me. Yeah. I, okay, <laughs> so um, I'm really excited for this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But before I finish off this episode and reveal the extra little scene, I want to say thank you for 500 subscribers. I am extraordinarily grateful. We have such a wonderful community here and I am lucky to be a part of it. I truly mean that. Like, you guys are some of the most supportive people I know. And one thing I love about having a small community and a small channel 
is that I get to know you guys and I can understand when you're getting a new laptop or like what's going on in your lives. And it's just really nice because I think we all have this tight knit sort of community right now. And it's something that I'm just, I feel very lucky to be a part of. So thank you guys for literally everything. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And with that, we are going to cue the episode of the episode, oh my gosh, the final scene of Ruinators, which is a little bit of a bonus. Also, after that, I'm going to be playing the outro song. Eventually, I will be putting something to that as well, so it'll be nice and have cool footage, like a little outro animation of sorts, like the intro and all that jazz. I'm going to play the whole song, which is two minutes long, but it's because I really like it and I think it fits well with the series, so... Yeah, feel free to stick around for it. If not, I don't blame you. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment down below with your thoughts because it means a lot, especially when I am trying out role playing for the first time and I want advice. So if you notice anything off or anything like good, just feel free to type it down below and say blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you made it this far into the video, type a uh, howdy down below. I know, totally random, um, but it'll just like a little thing to say, hey, I got this far in the video. Um, and yeah, with that, like, subscribe, comment, and check out my Twitch channel and Twitter because I've been updating things and I'm going to stop rambling now and just cue the, the scene. Yeah. Bye. Oh, and Ryan, you realize that was a girl, right? Yeah. Nice going, buckaroo. God, I really want a muffin. <coughs> Mari! Clouds on the horizon So take a breath here in the calm Before the storm If only for a moment Close your eyes and feel the thunder We can't